Jared Poland, Fro Knows Photo. Com here with another photo of the week on the website. And this week, it's a photo of Alex Ebert of Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. What an amazing band. If you don't know them, you need to check them out. Such great music, such great energy, and it's just fun and awesome sounding stuff. I love a lot of instruments, and they have a ton of instruments on stage. So it's tough for me to select one photo to talk about, but I selected this photo. Uh, I, it, it's part of a larger photo story. I like to tell stories of the day, okay? That start to finish, from the time I got there to the time I leave and get home, I like the photos to tell a story. But being that we select one photo for the week, I selected this one, and at some point I will post all of the photos from this day and give you a full rundown of how and uh, how I shot everything and why I shot everything the way I did and the story of the day. So what did I like about this photo? Well, I pre-visualized what was going to happen. Alex was going to walk up one side of the stage or the other. There was a ramp on one side and state and stairs on the other. I was prepared with a 70 to 200 2.8 uh, well, let's go over how I shot it. Nikon D3S, 70-200, to 2.8, version 2, ISO 500, 1 2500th of a second at f3.2, all the way at 200 millimeters. So, you can get a really fast shutter speed, and that's good for freezing that motion. I shot at 3.2. I'm starting to not always shoot at 2.8 if I don't have to. But staying below 4 to give me, you know, to give a little bit more depth in the face just in case I need it but still you can tell that the backgrounds blown out and yes that's a battleship that's a battleship New Jersey in the background as we were right on the Delaware River so what how did I do this photo well going up the stage walking up the stairs I knew there was a ramp and I knew that Alex would be walking up either the ramp or the stairs uh, I was prepared on the stairs side until he walked by and he started to you know, he walked past the ramp, back to somewhere, and then I knew he was going to go up the ramp. So I waited for a good 10 minutes in that position because I knew what I wanted to get. I wanted to get him walking up the ramp, and I didn't want it to be a wide angle this time because the background wasn't very interesting for a wide angle. There were trucks and trailers and things and fencing along the left side of the stage, and it just didn't look good. So I wanted the 70 to 200 to compress the background. I took about four pictures as he walked up the ramp so I was in the right position I was down low uh, squatting down to get this shot and he finally started to walk up the ramp and I locked in on his eyes continuous focus so that it would uh, so that the focus would move as he moved because in single focus if he was locked in and then he moved it wouldn't be in focus um, because it would be locked in so I just liked the feel of this he's in mid walk you know, the hips are moving, the head's tilted one way, the, body, the shoulders are another way, the eyes are looking up, and it's a nice, just solid image of an artist, a lead singer coming onto stage. I talk about this all the time. Anybody can shoot in front of the stage. I shot this whole show from the stage shooting out. There were probably 20 photographers in the pit, and the stage was a good, what, uh, probably seven feet tall so that makes it difficult to shoot because all you're doing is shooting up somebody's nose and you know photography this type of photography you want to see the crowd and you're going to see that in the photos uh, that are coming up when I do show all of the photos from the day you're going to see the crowd and and how I shot from the stage just remember anybody can shoot from the pit but it takes something else to shoot from backstage or on stage. And yes, you can do it also. You can work your way there. Sure, it may be with a smaller band to start, but it's a start, you know? You're getting there, so you too can do it. Don't you forget that. So really, I wanted to freeze this action of him walking, and I like the framing. As you see, I didn't cut off integral parts of the body. I didn't cut off his fingers. I... I you know, left right above his knees. It's a nice two and quarter shot. I have a tendency to leave more headroom because I don't like really shots where I put the, the subject too far up to the top of the frame. I, it's just something I do. I just, it's been like that. You know, I like some headroom at the top. Um, again, especially if somebody wants to print this as an 8x10, which I don't recommend because I like full frame shots the way they are, you have that extra headroom. You know, and if I cut off at the ankles, then I would have said, where are the feet? Now, I have some images that I did do full 
body, but I like this better because it was higher up on the ramp and you had more of that battleship. I just like how soft the lighting is here. Uh, I probably shot this on manual because aperture priority... Actually, I'll have to double check and leave in a note. I don't remember if I did it in manual or aperture priority. But, you know, it was a great day spent with this band. There's nothing like spending a day with musicians and just hanging out, talking, getting comfortable, having them being comfortable with me, allowing me to be on the tour bus and shoot anything that's going on. You just, you just can't beat that. So I hope that this is a good story for you. But, you know, I selected this one image out of a story of the day. There's probably 150, I think it was 150 shots that I edited down to that tell the story from the time I got there to the time I left at night when um, Alex was just riding his bike around Camden, New Jersey, which if anybody knows Camden, New Jersey, probably not the safest thing to do, but he just wanted to ride his bike, so I have some really cool pictures of that. So there's a lot of good photos to look forward to, and... You know, I hope you enjoy the music that is under this. It is really good stuff. So this is Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, signing off from another photo of the week, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Enjoy. Enjoy.